welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be reacting to some of my best bits or worst bits as you can call them on bad chefs and i'm gonna put a little split screen down here so you can see me reacting while i watch it on my phone so before we start i just want to say it was an absolutely amazing experience in my life i would never ever take it for granted it was the best thing i've ever done and the hardest thing i've ever done as well <laughs> But I met the best people and, and everyone was so so lovely, they really looked after me which made the whole experience like 10 times better because that was the biggest thing I was worried about is the people I'd be living with as well and every day we have to cook and rely on each other and yeah if it was a bad group it would just be a bit off wouldn't it, it wouldn't be very nice and I just wish I could go back, <laughs> I'd love to go back if there's ever a series 2 which I hope there is I would love to go back and do like a head to head challenge for the original cast Amazing would that be? It just went so quick. It went like that and I just miss everything about it. It literally feels like a dream. Like it doesn't feel like it happened. That's how great it was. And yeah, I just hope everyone loved it. So without further ado, I'm gonna pop up some videos and then we'll react to some of my bits. <laughs> okay, so the first clip is <laughs> me and Dylan cooking in pears. What can go wrong? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And I'll do the sauce. Still in the shower, like just talking, no cooking yet, just from vibes. So on your pan, you'll have the aubergine and the sauce, mm. and on my hat, or on your hob, you'll have the aubergine the and the sauce. The music, the music they put over us. <laughs> Done us dirty, but no, it just made the whole thing ten times more funnier. <laughs> the music. I had no idea what was going on. I was just like, Dylan, just read the notes and just tell me. <laughs> I got proper zoned out as well. I was like, I just know this is going to be a disaster. But like, we're the dream team. We can make a work deal. they got 40 minutes, so should really start moving. I don't remember being this slow though at the start. <laughs> we must have just like chatted for 20 minutes. Yeah. So, good luck. Good luck, we can do this. <laughs> I felt more calm today because yeah, I, I feel like calm. if I was forgetting something you would be able to remind me yeah. of that. <laughs> no, I did feel calm. Having Dylan there, I knew like I couldn't like panic or anything like that and I knew like anything I'd forget Dylan would remember and anything Dylan would forget hopefully I would remember and yeah, it was just, this was like my favourite, favourite, favourite moment of the whole experience. I absolutely loved it. I was like shitting bricks in the morning when I read that piece of like laminated paper to Michael and Pooja saying that we're going to be in pairs because like no one's going to want to go with me. <laughs> Their food is going to be pink. Their food is going to be raw if they go with me. But um, my little bestie Dylan, <laughs> he chose me. And then we got patterned up obviously as you saw. And then I was like, yay, I finally got like a really good partner because he's like really creative with his dishes. I knew we were going to get through with him. So yeah, thank God. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you for being my bestie. <laughs> Choosing me. Literally was panicking. I was like, no one's going to want to go with me. I'm going to have to like force someone to go with me and it's going to be really shit. But yeah, you literally made my day. Oh my God. I forgot. I forgot what shape it had to be. <laughs> so I just cut the plantains or plantains, whatever they're bloody called, in half. Because like, they're going to cook anyway. Yeah. You've got the time, and you? Um, it's on your one. <laughs> Where's the time? Are you sure you haven't got the time? What? The it's time. The time? <laughs> no, the time. Oh, the time? <laughs> I thought you were going to like say oh, something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I love yeah, the fact that it's been 20 minutes. Charlotte still hasn't given us a taste. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favourite moment. Where's the time? The time? The timer? It's on there. You sure you haven't got the time? I'm sure you haven't got the time. You've got the time. <laughs> the time, Dylan. <laughs> In leafy things. Oh. Oil. Oil. Oh, oh, I remember this. Wait, what? Is that meant to go there? Whoa. Dylan just poured all his soy sauce into the salad. <laughs> Think it something we thought it. we were done on this bit. We were like, oh no. Can't wait till you try that, man. So that's the salad basically done. Where's the soy sauce? Uh, okay. Was this the soy sauce? <laughs> oh yeah, that's, I think that was the soy sauce. Yeah, we're gonna have to like miss out the soy and we sauce. Couldn't. I think we've used the soy sauce. We couldn't miss it out because it'd be a penalty. 500 pound would be deducted from the money clock if we missed out an element. So lucky we didn't listen to my advice and just miss out the soy sauce or whatever we're gonna miss out. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were like, oh no, we're done. 
But we did manage to find a way. We swapped them over. That's a nest cell. Do you want me to like try and Good thing to do. Yeah, I got My mic as well. It's sticking right up my top. <laughs> what are you What's <laughs> like? Oh yeah, it's fine. That could be enough, isn't it? We're improvising at least. Yeah. I obviously was slightly concerned because like we're working in teams. If you do something wrong, it might be your fault that someone else goes home. This is why our partnership works perfectly because it's hilarious. We literally just bounce off each other. Okay, so this clip, I nearly chop off my fingers. Fun, lush one. And the cameraman, Glenn, he got loads of air time, he did. <laughs> Glenn has to come to the rescue. I'll stick a little knife. Oh, Shaz. Oh, she's so close to cutting her fingers. Yeah, it's just too slimy to get this Yeah, it wasn't off. working. Because oh, I had it the wrong way. Out. Oh, is it the wrong way? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, there's some things you can teach people. Yeah. Like, if you can take a horse to water, bro. Yeah, you can't tell it to drink that. Nah. I only had the bloody knife the wrong way. I would have figured it out to the end. <laughs> the one day is hard. Fucking harsh, these gushers. What is she doing? Cutting the garlic. Fucking hell, bro. I still don't see what's wrong with her. Even the garlic is like. So they were, it was so difficult to cut. Why is everything so difficult? Charlotte's a right off. <laughs> <laughs> How was that wrong though? I don't get it. I was just cutting the garlic. Was I supposed to peel it first then? But why do you peel a garlic? <laughs> yeah, look at this. I don't know what went wrong with my cumin. It looked like shit. Like it looked like someone had pooed in my um in my frying pan. Like it's not my fault. I didn't tell the cumin to do it. I just put it in the frying pan. You're supposed to put the cumin in the frying pan. Because that's what he said. But mine just looked like poo. I don't know why. What the hell is that from Charlotte? Is that a cumin? Oh, I don't know. No. It looks like she's got her dog. Told him, just have a little fun on that plate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Savage shanks. I am making the melted butter now and I'm adding a bit of tomato sauce. To do that, I'm gonna like grate these tomatoes. <laughs> She's putting tomatoes into really the butter. Well. She's doing this wrong. I'll put that in there. <laughs> I'm annoyed, Chunks. I can't lie, bro. I'm so annoyed. The tomatoes. Did you use them in this? Yeah, well, I used the um, tomato paste. I, I was panicking. Did you have to use Oh yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, no, it's tomatoes and tomato puree. Oh, shit. Should we just use the same board? Basically, I put the tomatoes in and it made like a tiny bit of sauce. And I was like, how the hell do you make more sauce? So I asked Pooja and she said you're supposed to put the puree in as well. Oh, thank God for that. So I shoved the puree in and I made more sauce. Um. Cut a little bit of tomato off then. I like, I'll cut the slice when I'll dine in just in case it's not right. I shall cut the tomato. Charlotte's making us a salad. <laughs> Everything I do now is through sheer panic. Oh, it's not that easy, is it? Just let that on. I just have to go to the table. I, bro, no. She's put soup on top of it, fam. <laughs> I did. He saw that. I tried to hide the butter. I just put one massive like, lump of butter on it. Okay, so in this clip, I am cooking my chicken melanese, or whatever you, or however you pronounce it. And it doesn't go too good, because Chunk says that my chicken looks like the back of his heel. It's <laughs> a good analogy. There we go. Someone stop Charlotte, this is not even a joke. It's gone that badly for them. It's about the fun, isn't it? It's about yeah. the taking part. And I have cooked it to a certain extent. You have? Flip that yeah. over. That looks like, yeah, you know the back of your heels after a long training session. That looks like my back foot. Oh, <laughs> this is, do you know what? This is why I said I thought it was going to be cozy. Please. <laughs> Joking, they're lovely. Lovely people. Make you finish as. So, <laughs> let's see if my dish passes the pass. Oh, bless myself. Bless my cotton socks. Got it. 
I'm through. Yes. No, not for us now. Yes. There's only two. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so yours are basically still clucking. Oh. I tried my bloody best. I did. The best. <laughs> okay. Get all of my little face. By the way, where where is everything else though? Like, where is it gone? In the frying, In the frying pan. pan. You, you, you know where to go. Oh, we should do like a finger roll around the bin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. So lovely in the face of failure. Oh. <laughs> I felt so defeated that day as well. Because I tried my best. So I thought I could actually cook this chicken all the way through because it was going good. And then Chugs came in and kept saying we've got like 10 minutes left and stuff. I was like, oh no, it's not going to cook. So I'm going to cook. It's going to be pink again. And I'm going to get <sighs> put in the bottom too. I love the head to heads at the end though. It was so fun. So I just realised that I hadn't even created an ending, which is great. <laughs> I want to say thank you so, so much for watching and supporting me on Bad Chefs. I really enjoyed it. It was like best experience of my whole life. If you want to see me reacting to my head-to-head -head challenges, then pop a comment below because there were a lot of them. I think I was in nearly every one. <laughs> Just pop down the comments and hopefully I'll see you soon.